Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to do the electron density difference calculation using cast step tool in Metal Studio. Okay, so before doing this calculation, we need to be uh, optimized the geometry of your complex, whatever you are using to find out the electron density difference. Uh, suppose uh, I'm having a, a slab of metal and then a complex molecule over here. I want to find out the electron density difference between these two. So in this case, first I need to optimize the geometry of this complex system using uh, cast step I have I'm using here. So I have already optimized the geometry. Now I'll be doing just a single point calculation for the electron density difference. So once you have done the geometry optimization, select the output geometry, and then go to the task here. You select properties. Uh, quality I'm using ultra fine functional I'm using ZZPV you can choose whatever you wish I'm using Grimme dispersion correction for weak interactions and also using uh, DFT plus U the Hubbard correction parameter for uh, this uh, metal here uh, if you want to change the value for U you, you can select this specific metal suppose you want to, to change the U value from here go to the modify electronic configurations here you can put uh, the value whatever you wish based on the literature or your uh, convergence criterion or whatever uh, value you have defined you can use that value once you have uh, set this uh, our parameters go to the electronics here uh, we are not going to change anything whatever i'm using here you can i'm just going to state away use this using ultra soft super potential and i'm not going to change anything here as cf i'm using same as it is K point mess just for timing I'm using 0.07 for better refinement you can go for 0.04 and not changing anything in solvent I'm using the dielectric constant as one so that uh, I will be doing the calculation in the gas phase if you want to do this calculation in some solvent phase you can choose the solvent from here and proceed with that okay now in the properties menu you need to select the electron density difference and you need to tick on the both atomic densities and the set of atoms and now go to the job control, select, uh, select the number of parallel processors and the runtime optimization and take everything over here. Once you have done this, now what we need to do is we need to uh, set the uh, uh, layers for the electron density difference. So what we'll do, we'll select this molecule over here, go to the edit menu here, we'll go to the edit sets. Now you'll get this kind of menu, edit sets. Here in the new, just set the... Uh, I'll just put M, M is for the molecule, just you can put anything, density differences. So be careful here, you should, there should not be any space between density differences. If there is space, you, your calculation won't be submitted, okay? So make sure there is no space between density differences. And this keyword has to be there, density differences, press OK. Once you have selected this, what you will observe, you will see this items will be set for the density dif uh, electron density difference. Now you just select this, go to the cut, fine. Now what we need to do, we need to select this, go to the select. We have selected this molecule, go to the properties menu here and go to the set. Here is hidden, you just make it yes. Now you will see that uh, uh, this uh, uh, pink color that uh, sphere has gone now now you can uh, submit the calculation so once you have submit the calculation the calculation will start okay so once your calculation is over we'll go for the analysis of electron density difference so go to the analysis here you select electron density difference since I have already calculated so that file will come here automatically now I just want to see the uh, at, uh, this isosurface, so I'll just click on import, press yes because I have already generated so it was showing, I have over uh, righted that, so once you click on the import and the isosurface will be imported, but sometime it may not be visible, we need to go to uh, the display style and we need to change the uh, iso values, go to the display style and here we will go to the isosurface and sometime uh, okay so first we'll uh, take this plus minus combination and here the iso value we need to select here okay so generally that iso value like see if i'm decreasing see 
how it comes yes so I'm just putting one random number here so okay so this value at ISO value 0 0.008 you can see this is uh, the surface are clearly visible here right so this blue color is showing that electron uh, rich centers while this uh, yellow color is showing you the electron deficit areas where there is uh, no electrons okay so now you once you have got this plot if you want to change the color you can change the color from here okay and if you want to save this picture go to the export menu here you save as dot bmp and you can save this one okay so this is how it this electron density difference part looks like and i already told you what the what is the meaning of this blue color and the yellow color surfaces so this blue color represents the electron rich areas while this yellow color represents the electron deficit areas thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt pertaining to this video put it in the comment section thank you for watching the video